morning. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to CFC Fan TV. Now, I thought I would reflect on what a wonderful week we had last week, uh, going through in the FA Cup and then getting to the final in the League Cup. Beating Tottenham is something, you know, these are, these are moments we're going to remember. And I thought we did so well in that game, you know, to come back from a 1-0 deficit um, from Wembley uh, on their sort of home turf, if you will, at the moment. Uh, and, you know, that, that to me is a game that Tottenham really should have won because they've become increasingly confident over the years about beating us. You know, we had a terrible loss against them 3-1 earlier on in the season. Well, we lost against them last season. You know, we've not had the best run against them. But I think what last week shows is that we are a team, are a club that are capable of pulling something out of the bag when the odds are against us. So I thought I would do a video that is, I don't know, we're going to title it, who I believe is currently the worst team in London, statistically, of course. So should be fun. So I believe that Tottenham are currently the worst team in London. And I'll start with point one and probably the most important point. They are bottle jobs. Now, Everyone knows it, and I'm not just say, I'm not saying this to be harsh, but you know, if you look at their pat, their record over the last few years, they have no trophies. Not the last few years, Sammy, is it? It's, it's, it's multiple years without having a trophy, failing when it gets to you know these 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 finals, these big games. I mean, they were meant to win. In my eyes, they were meant to win the league. The, the were meant to win the league the year Leicester won it, and they bought it against us. Now that is not the mentality of champions. You don't win trophies. You don't get to finals by simply not having the bottle <laughs> to carry it through. So I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, it boils down to who can pull something out of the bag when the odds are against you, and they can't do that. Even when the odds are for them, you know, they should have gone through to the League Cup final. They, they had a 1-0 um, lead against us because we, were, we lost the first leg and they still, they still couldn't manage it. Now, I know they've got injuries, but every single team has injuries. You know, we've, we've been on the worst run of form. We've had our injuries and, you know, even in our worst, I think, you know, in, sometimes in our worst spells, especially I think last season, even when Conte didn't have a good season at all, we still won an FA Cup. So I'm sorry, but there are just no excuses. And if you bottle it, you really shouldn't turn up. Point two, another very important point, and I think I'll put my, uh, my green tea down for this one, um, are some comments that their manager made, Pochettino. He said, somewhere along the lines, and I think there's a lot of, a couple of pundits that have come out and said that they're, you know, a, a little bit, they can't understand his words. He said more or less that, you know, the team, the most important priority for, their, their, for Tottenham is getting top four and getting into the Champions League. That's completely wrong. There's no point in getting top four every season if you can't, like I said, follow it through. Um, the most important thing to any club should be winning trophies. If you ask any Chelsea fan what's more important, getting into a top four or winning a trophy, the FA Cup, the League Cup, no matter what it would be, you know, what defines you is the amount of trophies that are in your cabinet. And the fact of the matter is that Tottenham's is empty and ours is full. Well, it keeps growing ours, you know, because we just keep winning trophies. But the point of the matter is that I don't know how Pochettino thinks that by getting into the top four, if he doesn't, ha if his team doesn't have the mentality to win trophies like League Cups and uh, FA Cups, which are seen as the lesser trophies, even though that we at, Chelsea, at the CFC Fan TV and, and most fans think that they're very important. You know, if you look at the Champions League, if you want to win something like that, which is an extremely um, important and, you know, it's on a world, it's more or less on a, on a European world stage. If you want to win that trophy, you have to have the mentality to be able to win at least something. So if they can't get to League Cup finals, how on earth does he think that getting top four every season is going to make any difference? Your main priority as a manager should be winning trophies, season upon season, and making the fans happy. And the fans are coming out now, even, and I, do, I feel a bit bad for them, because if that was us, we would want a manager that says, no, I want to win trophies every season. Um, and they don't have that. So unfortunately, I think his comments are wrong here. I think saying that he's a, a phenomenal manager is, I up until this point thought, that, thought he was, um, but at the end of the day, he's been there for a few years now, and you have to start asking, where are the trophies? And they've got some fantastic players like Deli Ali, Harry Kane, Ericsson. Ericsson is one of my favourite players in the league. Sorry, everyone, but I, you know, I, I really do rate him. And um, they're not capable of, of pulling something out of the bag. So unfortunately, uh, Pochettino, your words are wrong, and I think that is very disheartening for the fans. So there is nothing I enjoy more than an away day. There's so much fun. I've got great memories, but I do love being at Stamford Bridge. You know, just being on home soil, getting behind the boys, supporting the Blues, seeing, you know, all the season ticket holders, all the fans, you know, being one big family, there's nothing better. Which leads me on to my point three. 
Tottenham have no stadium. They don't have a home. They're months behind moving into their new stadium, as fantastic as it looks. They've got all sorts of issues going on there. And actually, to be fair, you know, if there's any, anyone else, I'm sure we'd be getting a lot of stick for it. But um, they don't even have a place to play in, re realistically. So if you don't have a home, if you, if you don't have a stadium to play in, what do you really have? I mean, it just seems as if it's all falling apart to me. Point four, and probably the most embarrassing point, is all the DVDs they keep making. What are you doing? It's so embarrassing. Yeah, we beat this team 3-0, 4-0, so we're going to make a DVD about it. It's actually embarrassing. I think I actually think I read a comment ages ago. Frank Lampard said it was you know, difficult because when you lose against Tottenham, they make a DVD about it for the next five, ten years or whatever. It's so embarrassing to yourselves. You should never be making any DVDs unless you are European champions. So that means the Champions League, the Europa League, you haven't won any of those, so there's no point in making memories if you haven't got any of those. Um, and just actually a trophy in general, if you win an FA Cup, a League Cup, I'm all for it. If it's, you know, if you want to show how triumphant it's been to, to get there, do it by all means. But I just think that you really, you're really detracting the wrong energy. Um, there's loads of fans that are coming out now, Tottenham fans themselves, crying on social media because everyone keeps taking the mickey out of them because they can't win any trophies. They they even know it. They know they can't get to these finals and win these big games. So stop making DVDs about it. Stop making films about it. It's nothing to be proud of. You need to win some trophies ASAP and then maybe people will start taking you seriously. Point five is that I'm actually just reiterating what many pundits are now saying. There was a thing on Twitter uh, quite a while ago, not quite a while ago, re fairly recently I would say, you know, Paul Merson, being asked, you know, is this the height of Tottenham's success? And he turned around quite simply and said, what success? <laughs> and it was a viral thing and it was very funny, but on a serious note, it's correct. You know, everyone's coming out and saying, Pochettino's such a brilliant manager. They've got, you know, the likes of Harry Kane, Deli Alli, who by no means do I think are, are bad players. They are fantastic players, play for our country, of course. And they really should be at the peak of their career. They should be winning trophies left, right and centre when they're players of that quality and they're not doing it. So there's something going on at that club, whether it's whether they need a change of manager, whether they need to get some reinforcements. And, you know, they've had money over the years. They sold Gareth Bale and they, they more or less spent that money um, terribly. Um, you know, it's, it's really, really bad bit of business for them all round. And, um, you know, they, they've, they've sort of got to a point now where they've, you know, Pochettino has a very, very good side and he's not getting trophies out of them. You know, I expect, I expect them to at least have won something in the last couple of years with him being in charge and at the end of the day if this was Mourinho or if this was Conte or if this was anybody else he would have been long gone he would have been fired so how much longer can we go on saying that he's a fantastic manager um you know at the end of the day Chelsea get rid of managers left right and centre we are very cutthroat I don't always agree with it um but you know the club have the interest what well, our best interest at heart in terms of wanting to win European Cups, domestic Cups, um, and Tottenham, for instance, aren't doing that. So whatever way you look at it, um, something to me needs to change there because it's not just fans that are criticising Tottenham Hotspur, it's also you know people that are paid to do so um, on, on broadcast. So um, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm just being honest here. So there you have it. Those are the top five reasons why I believe, currently and statistically, Tottenham are the worst team in London. Uh, comment below. I'm sorry if everybody hates me, but I'm just being honest. You know, I, d I don't want to um, put anything that isn't isn't correct, and um, I'm just going by what's been happening in the last um, few seasons. So comment below. Let me know who you think the worst team in London is. Um, it's definitely not Chelsea. We're uh, the only team in London with the European Cup. So just put that out there. <laughs>